Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October. This is Miri, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for tons of information. Decks I'm using, social media, past playlists, um, personal reading information also. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. It do does really help the channel out. Thank you so much for being a part of that. And thank you, thank you. All right, so this is for Sagittarius. First half of October. Hope everybody's doing well. Going into fall season already. Can you believe that? We have uh, decorated here for Halloween already. So happy early Halloween. Hope everybody's doing well. Sagittarius. Birthday coming up in a few months. If your birthday's in December. If not, then three months. All right. Sagittarius. The Archer. What are you setting your arrow at? What are you aiming at? Let's see what's going on with you for the first half of October. General, this is a general reading, but if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life, then please do that. It's just energy. So advice, guidance, energy, that's all it is. Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't, switch, flip, flop, switch energies, whatever you see fit. All right. So Sagittarius. These are not personal readings, so not everything will resonate with every single person. All right. For that, you would need a private reading. All righty. And they've been very successful for me, just so you know. So if you're thinking about that, then don't hesitate to reach out. All right. So let's get an energy. Let's get an energy for you, Sagittarius. Taurus. So if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. Some of you could have Taurus around you some way, shape, or form. Friend, family member, co-worker, significant other, whatever it is for you. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart. Maybe someone around you has heavy Taurus in their chart. Earth energy here, so that means something for some of you. Taurus energy. Taurus does represent uh, the Hierophant in uh, the Tarot. It's a major arcana which does represent um, faith, spirituality, commitment, marriage, doing what's moral, just and right, doing things by the book, uh, structure, that sort of thing with um, the Hierophant energy. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but we'll see here. So let's get an energy for you for the first half of October. The Sagittarius. What's going on, spirit, please? The Sagittarius. First half of October. First half of October. One card for Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. One card. Oh, that's your card. Almost went on the floor. Self-reliance. So this is, you know, relying on yourself, doing things for yourself, being independent, not relying on anyone for anything. This is now being totally dependent, independent, on your own and for yourself. So some of you just may be newly independent from a marriage or something like that. I was curious what's on the top here. Positive expectations. So this is telling you to remain positive moving forward, you know, keeping that faith, hope, and optimism. So have positive outlook. But then you do have happy every, I can't even speak, happy ever after. <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, whatever. And then you have detoxification. So I don't know if some of you needed to detoxify some way, shape or form, either from bad habits, addictions, whatever here, just energy around you. This is uh, detoxifying from that energy, whatever it is for you. So we have happily ever after. So you will have a happy ever after and it's telling you to expect positive things and to stay in a positive mindset here. All right, so put that like that. All right, let's see. This is the tattoo tarot. Anybody got any tattoos out there? I have one. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What's 
going on with Sagittarius? All right. What's going... I think I'll have to shuffle this way. What's going on with Sagittarius Spirit, please? The first half of October. What's going on with Sagittarius? The first half of October, Spirit. Oh, we got the three of wands. So this is your energy, fire energy, uh, Leo Sag Aries. So this is about, you know, making new plans um, here, making new plans, decisions, moving in a new direction. But there's a period of waiting. So you're moving in a new direction because you are self-reliant now, maybe coming out of a marriage or commitment. Um detoxifying for some, from something, but you will have positive outcomes, remain positive, happily ever after, but there's a period of waiting. Wow. Well, the sun came out in reverse, so this is Leo. <sighs> you know, the sun does represent happiness, joy, success, and victory. There may be a delay in that, because the sun in reverse is still the same meaning of success, victory, happiness, joy, enlightenment, is that blurry? Okay. But maybe a delay or maybe you're feeling a little bit unhappy right now because you can't move forward at this present time because there's a delay in your new direction. With the three of wands there is uh, having to wait for your fiery, passionate new adventure uh, moving forward in a new direction. So if you want to go to your happiness, your joy, whatever it is for you, but there's a delay. But it's telling you here to remain positive. Whatever you're de detoxifying from and relying on yourself now, becoming independent. Uh, all right. The Queen of Cups. So water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, You know, this could be, you know, just this is love, emotions, feelings, um, nurturing kind of energy. So I think maybe right now uh, that could be just self-love, like nurturing yourself. Like you want your happiness, your joy, your self-fulfillment with the Queen of Cups energy. But there's a delay. There's a delay in your true happiness, in your true love of whatever you're going forward to. There's a delay. A delay. All right, so let's see uh, a couple more to clarify this energy. The Knight of Cups. Wow, so <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's taking action, moving forward. You know, words of love, affection here. So, yeah, you want to move forward um, with, like, love and affection. So it's either moving forward onto some sort of new life path that you feel like it's truly aligned with you that you'll like totally love you're or you're actually wanting to like move forward in a new love direction towards somebody um that you may even want to commit to but there's a delay and that or the delay could be that you're um coming out of a marriage just with the Taurus card there so let's see now so we have the hanged man cancer pisces so this is Still being hung and bound to something, um, you know, not taking any action again with the three of wands and how the hangman is not being able to take action. Also, you know, thinking back, reflecting, uh, thinking about things, seeing things with a new perspective. So I think you're reflecting like while you you have this pause and break and things are like on pause and stuck. You're really thinking and reflecting about your happiness, your joy, what you want moving forward. And I feel like you're independent now or you're becoming independent. And it's like you want to go after your happily ever after and you're having that positive outcome. But you also have detoxify here. So it could be you're also detoxifying just from energies, like I said, person, place, things, addictions, obsessions, whatever it is for you. All right, so, wow, let's get your actual situation now. Well, we have the lovers, Gemini energy. So this is about, um, you know, soulmate energy here, or it can be, it's about making decisions. Um, in a general reading, I take it as making decisions that are best for you, that are totally aligned with you, a path that um, 
is in like a loving direction, something that you absolutely truly love and want to do here. Okay, these two came out in reverse. So we have the King of Cups. So now we have the King and the Queen of Cups, but the King is in reverse here. So the King of Cups, you know, is again about love, emotions, feelings, um, and that sort of energy. Um, and sometimes the King of Cups doesn't necessarily show his love and affection too much or verbalize it too much. But I think in reverse here, it's like you're ready to speak up here about um, how you truly feel maybe about somebody. It's right in the middle of your spread. And it's like you're unable to because you're stuck. And now you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is a brand new beginning in love, upright. This is a divinely guided gift from above. It's a brand new uh, love opportunity. It could be self-alignment, self-worth, self-love, spiritual enlightenment. But in reverse, it's stuck, it's stagnant, it's not coming forward yet. It's like it's there, but because you're stuck and you can't move forward because you have the king and the ace in reverse. So it's like everything is stuck and nothing can move forward right now. You know, if you're wanting to as move forward as the King of Cups, either in your new direction with a lot of love, peace, and harmony, and have this divinely guided new beginning, either for yourself or with somebody else, because this is what you truly want, because you've got the lovers here, which is Gemini. Um, you can have Gemini in your chart. Yeah, King of Cups reverse stuck. Hangman stuck. Three of Wands waiting, sun, delay in your happiness, sun in reverse. But it's telling you remain positive. There will be a happily ever after. All right, so let's get some more clarity on your situation here. More clarity on the, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this one and this one. So you have... Wow, you have the Nine of Swords. So, you, you know, stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Air energy here. Cancer, Gemini. No, not Cancer. Oh, wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, you know, stressed out, anxiety, worry, fear. So you're worried about this. Then you have the Ten of Swords. So this is an ending. So this is, you know, completing an ending here. Painful, hurtful ending. It's done. It's over. It's kaput. Oh, and that could be why things are on pause here, because you're going through this ending here with the Ten of Swords, a hurtful, painful ending, whatever it is for you. It's why you're in limbo, why you're stuck, why there's a delay to your true happiness, why you're deto detoxifying from this energy of this ending here. But the sun always brings healing, enlightenment, positive, you know, happy home and family, joy, success, victory. But there's a delay in that right now. Wow. Okay. So, so you know, you got the nine and the ten of swords. So, together they are clarifying your situation. So, you have stress, worry, anxiety, fear. Or maybe, you know, you won't have this, what you truly want. Because you're in the process of ending something. And it's right under Cancer Pisces. So you could be ending something with a Cancer or Pisces. And I've been getting that a lot also in your readings. So let's get um, advice for you, Sag. Now we have the Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy. There's the Taurus Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So <laughs> your advice here is... Feeling lonely, neglected, left out in the cold, abandoned, alone here. But you're wanting to rush in here and speak truth, clarity. But, you know, the Knight of Swords is also an energy where you don't think too clearly and you kind of rush in without thinking. You know, maybe you're just tired of feeling, you know, like this lonely, neglected, lonely feeling. So you're wanting to rush in. Like you're wanting to rush in before you're actually supposed to because you're just feeling so lonely and cold. That's your advice, but I don't know. Let's get a couple clarifiers because I don't want you rushing in. Okay, so don't rush in before 
you're actually supposed to. No matter how lonely, neglected, or cold you feel, whatever your new situation is here, it's telling you not to rush in without thinking clearly first in this situation before it's time. Wow, so we have strength here, which is Leo. Leo came out in your love reading. Okay, so I'll take that one. So let's get extra clarifiers here. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So again, I feel like here, ending a situation, which could be with a Pisces, and it could be over marriage, Taurus is the Hierophant. That's why you can't have this new beginning. If it's a love situation or whatever here, I'm getting that heavily. Or whatever new beginning you're trying to go after here, there is a delay. Knight of Pentacles is single energy here. So some of you may need to be fully single, free, and clear of this energy. You totally need to detoxify from that energy and be totally single, independent, and self-reliant. And standing on your own two feet alone here, making your own pentacles, knowing your own value and worth energy here before uh, you can proceed in this new beginning that you want. And you do have strength, so it could be with a Leo, uh, but this is also having that inner strength, that um, endurance. You have the infinity symbol there, so this new connection could be something that you've had in past lifetimes, um, maybe even up to eight lifetimes. Definitely could be a soulmate connection here. But this is, you know, having that inner will, willpower, strength, confidence, um, being brave and courageous here, and also taming the beast from within, knowing when to uh, hold back and move forward. Very strong connection also, something you want moving forward very strongly. And that's why you want to rush in with this Knight of Swords energy quickly. Because you're feeling maybe very lonely. You see this woman here. It's like all cloudy. She's crying. It's raining. It's cold. It's like you're tired of feeling cold and lonely. You just want to rush in before the right time. Before you're supposed to. Because we have two cards of Leo here. We have strength and the sun. Which is both Leo. So. Yeah. You need to wait for the right time. You need to be totally independent. Free and clear. Strong enough to stand on your own and be totally detoxified of whatever this past energy is for you. Because you will have a happily ever after. It's right there if you want that. So let's see what your possible outcome will be. Well, the, the tower. Aries energy. So this could be just a big wake-up call, a big aha moment, a big epiphany, a surprise. Doesn't have to be something bad. It could be bad or good. It can be just a breakdown, shakedown, a total destruction of something. Um, you know, finding out something that just ruins everything. Or it could be a pleasant surprise. It's like a big shock. So, I know, let's get clarity on that before we um, see what this is for you. Oh, we got two. Okay. Oh, I think I just put some of my cards upside down. Okay, so let's see. We have, well, we have the Five of Swords energy. That's kind of an energy of um, getting ahead of all cost, a bit, very ego driven energy, uh, selfish, self centered, in it for your own benefit, your own good. You don't care about anything else or anything anyone around you that's air energy and then we have the four what is this now the four of swords i believe four of swords energy so this is so we have the four and five of swords together here for your possible outcome so if you're thinking of like you know i'm just concerned about me because i'm lonely i'm cold i'm afraid i i don't want to be in this energy anymore i want to move forward to my new happiness, new beginning, whatever here. You, you need to be strong and brave and courageous here. Not cause a tower moment. You don't want to cause a tower moment before it's time. If you take action before it's time, I think this will just bring in a lot of negative energy with the tower here. 
So you need to be strong, courageous, and brave while you detoxify, while you become self-reliant, while you become totally independent and on your own two feet um, here and really think with the Four of Swords, think, contemplate before taking action and doing anything out of a selfish energy here because it'll just cause this uh, tower moment that you don't want. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I think I got these mixed up. Okay, so we have... The Five of Cups, again, feeling, you know, cup, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, feeling sad, lonely, sorrow, hurt over your situation, just feeling lonely and sad, again, because you did have the uh, Five of Pentacles, the star, but Aquarius here is here for healing, like you totally need to heal yourself, and this is something divinely guided, you're ha happy ever after, whatever it is for you, that you need to remain positive about is divinely guided for you this is faith hope optimism healing divinely guided energy here with the star and then you have the page of swords so you know you may be you know watching something someone online here doing research online education online whatever it is here for you page of swords also open honest truthful communication swords to me open, honest, truthful communication, um, not taking any BS, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, cutting away things not serving. And the Empress. So this is knowing Emperor or Empress, male or female, knowing your value, your worth, being independent. This is about growth, expansion, uh, all the energy of all those suits, passion, love, stability, and clarity, truth, clarity, communication knowing your value, your worth. This is a birth to new things. So this is like a new beginning. The Empress gives birth to new things, usually a mother figure or father figure or whatever here, if you're male or female. But this is like a new transformative energy, a new beginning that you want. And now we have the Eight of Wands. So this is, you know, your energy. So Eight of Wands, action, travel, movement, passionate communication here page of one so that's again offers coming in or out passionate exciting new endeavors communication whatever here two cards that are almost the same there so now we have the two of wands which is fire energy again so this is making plans decisions for your future moving forward and then the magician manifesting a brand new beginning so and knight of wands taking action to your new beginning but it's been a long, tough, hard battle, whatever you've been through, feeling beat up here over this, you know, hard ending with the Three of Swords. If it was um, a painful, hurtful ending here, it could have been a marriage, like I said, with the Three of Swords energy. It's been a hard battle, but moving forward with passion and vigor for life, manifesting a brand new beginning, making new plans, decisions, moving forward. Communication here, passionate communication of some kind, uh, Offers coming in could be, you know, work, career, projects, endeavors, whatever here. And then action, movement, communication, knowing your value, your worth, giving birth to new things, new beginning, truth, clarity, healing, divinely guided energy. But you're still feeling kind of lonely and cold right now in this situation. Put those there. All right, Saggies, let's get a few more messages for you. A few more messages for you. Moving forward. So remain positive, whatever you're going for, moving forward, whatever the delay is, you will have a happily, it's almost like a fairy tale. <laughs> You'll have like a, a fairy tale ending, I don't know. All right, and it may seem not real to you. Wow, so <laughs> positive expectations there. And now we have positive, be positive. Your thoughts can shape your experience, so be sure to focus on the positive. So we got positive expectations and we have be positive. I can't make this shit up. Can't, can't make it up. All right, so. Let's get a few more for you, Sag. 
So you have to remain positive through this, no matter how lonely, cold, sad you feel, whatever ending you're going through, and whatever um, delay there is in your happiness, your fulfillment moving forward. It's telling you just to stay positive as you stand on your own two feet, and you will have your happily ever after. Release all anger. Don't give power to negative words by saying them. Speak from your higher self and make your communications peaceful and loving. So there's anger in your past. It's telling you here to release that and um, peaceful, loving place. Forgiveness, healing, harmony kind of energy there. Telling you to release all that. It's a snapdragon. It's a flower oracle. So it's a snapdragon. All right, so let's get, and it's like a very fiery energy to me also. All right, anything else for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Anything else for Sagittarius? First half of October, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. A couple more shuffles for Sagittarius. All right, trust, carnation. You can trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent to give you the guidance you seek. So this is just telling you to trust in your situation, trust in yourself moving forward, trust in your new beginning, trust in your new path, no matter what delays there are here, and to remain positive and just trust that whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Let your inner beauty shine, pink rose. You are a brilliant example of God's love. Everything about you is perfect. So let your light shine and inspire others. So that may be a message for some of you. Or maybe there's somebody like that in your life. And then underneath that, we have first step, hydrangea. Breaking down this problem into tiny pieces, make it, pieces makes it easy to take the first step. So again, taking the first steps towards your true Desire, happiness, beginning, whatever you're going for, your true happiness. Even though this delays, you will have this happily ever after. Okay, Sagittarius, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. If you find a title that catches your eye, I say watch it anyway. Disregard the dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. If you do like the way I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do love to read the comments. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs. It's four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. And I may be adding, because um, I do love general twice a month. I may be keeping one love in general and then adding two more different kind of readings. So you'll still get four readings a month coming up in the future. So don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Good luck to you here moving forward in your future, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and always shine your light.